Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, I woke up super early today in Melikat standards. So I decided to go to uh, Cha Tan Tang, which is actually one of my regulars. Um, Cha Tan Tang is the Hong Kong style tea restaurants. And basically, this is what's on our breakfast menu. See, this is actually very famous in Hong Kong. It's called soup macaroni, Kong Tong Sam Fan. And uh, what happens is that there's like usually like a, like a rich tomato soup or like a chicken stock or whatever. Sometimes it's pork stock. And then you would have soup, macaroni elbows. And then it would you would have some goodies. Um, sometimes it's sh uh, shredded uh, ham. Sometimes it's minced meat uh, or tomato puree or sausages or a whole chicken steak. It's insane. Hey, Sarah, just hold on. Oh. Hi Bernice, hi Chitanya, hi James, yo yo. Hey everyone, okay, so this is Ta Tan Tang right now, and um, some of the stuff that we have, you can actually get like a bowl of oatmeal, you can get toast, eggs, or you can get the sandwich itself, or you can get the, um, like, what is it? The deep fried uh, fish fillet, fluffy scrambled eggs. Hey Jason, 7, 7.30, close enough. Um, hey Crucial Conflict, hey Martha. So, um, or you can actually even get like steak for breakfast. But this is like the typical soup macaroni, basically um, pork or chicken stock, and then you would have shredded ham and stuff. I think that's what I'm gonna get. Or you can get instant noodles. You can get like Ichiban ramen or something. Um, see, this is like Mhan Aoyokong. I mean, this is like a, it's like a marinated type of satay beef that goes on top of the, uh, the noodles. I know, right? I'm like promoting the menu. Okay, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna get. Like some people actually want a whole chicken steak, but that's not really my thing. Um, I don't want anything deep fried. It's too heavy for me. Um, macaroni and soup. I want the eggs and... Hmm. I want it with eggs and everything. Where is it? Okay, just hold on. I can't make up my mind. Ah, oh, they got scrambled egg and truffles. This is actually, it looks really good. Um, tomato macaroni, nice. There's a typo in the caption. Oh, is there? Sorry. It's probably, get the chicken. I don't want the chicken. Um, hang on. Okay, wait. Garlic toast. Okay, I either get a small portion of the soup macaroni and it comes with toast and scrambled eggs or I can get the big macaroni with nothing else. Okay, any waffle chicken? There's no such thing. There's no such thing as waffle chicken. Yeah. Okay, I want this one. This is what? Yes, a little bit of beef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, just hold on. No fish ball, that's not a breakfast food. Okay, just hold on, I'm gonna get some water. Thank you. So, got some water. I'm trying to, I'm trying to actually force myself to drink more water. Oh, everyone, how's, how's my mic? So yesterday I watched my, uh, the, the playback on my stream. And I find that <clears throat> the sound is too loud. So, okay. we're touching the disgusting menu. This is from the hospital yesterday. Hey, Kevin. 
When I'm in the sunlight, you're in the moonlight. Yep, that's right. Okay, let me see how this is gonna help. I can go I can get oh, this is Hong Kong speed, huh? Okay, just hold on, everyone. Oh. My drink is here already. Okay, so. Okay, so in Hong Kong, don't take off your face mask unless at least your beverage is here. There's undercover cops I can actually give you a ticket. Mm. Okay, my nose is really running. It's pretty good today, right? Because yesterday was like too loud. Um, oh. uh, Popeye in Singapore. Oh, nice. Ah. So this place is called Bak Ban Bak. Uh, they got the. Oh, they got the. They got the. They got the. They got the. The 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 divider. Ah, oh, yai yai yai. And I think someone mentioned that they probably never wiped it. I think that's actually a good point. A very, very legitimate point. Okay. So, um, this place is called Cafe One Hundred Percent. It's part of, I think it's part of like a huge food chain in Hong Kong. Um, and oh yeah. Something that I want to say is most of our stuff come with beverages. So Hong Kong people are very used to having a sugary beverage to go with their food. You guys, hi. And so this is my soup macaroni. This is the small size. So because I have the toast and the scrambled eggs, so it comes in this size. Um, but otherwise, I, I'll have a, a giant bowl. So this is it. Okay, there we go. You'll see that there's some some slices of ham in there, but don't expect a lot. I think in Asia, I think we're not we're not such big meat eaters. Okay. Is the light even helping? Okay. I, I brought my light for your viewing pleasure. Let's see if the angle is going to cut it. Mungazai! You probably think I'm crazy. Okay. That's okay. Uh, I think the light is helping, right? Yeah, it's helping. Okay, there we go. Um, so, haha. I got a full toast today. I got a full size toast today. I have a leaky nose. Yeah, it happens every day in the morning. More base and treble. Okay, so yes, so today is probably better. Um, foie gras croissants. Oh wow. Okay, so this is like the truffle uh, scrambled eggs, and see, I have this. That pretty good, right? Okay, so this is my breakfast, and in case you want to take another look at it, uh, just hold on. Hey, Ollie. Okay, so small bowl of macaroni. Um, my water, I'm trying to force myself to drink more water, milk tea, food. That's actually not too bad. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so enough of that. So I'm gonna get my cutlery from here. So in Hong Kong, what happens is that the cutlery is actually here. See, there's a drawer that I pull out, and all the and all the stuff. See, if you see, like, um, you see that the, the fork, the chopsticks, um, and then the spoons and everything, and then the sugars in there as well. I personally prefer eating this. Actually, I prefer eating my scrambled eggs with chopsticks. So there we go. Hey. Oh, and the person next to me is gone. So no self-conscious people, good. I hate like accidentally offending people sometimes when I'm doing my live streams because I know some people don't want to be uh, close to me. I know. That's the perfect thumbnail for later. Ah, yeah, it might be actually. Okay, just hold on. I guess do it before it's cold. <clears throat> don't worry, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, as weird as it might sound, 
to some of you, but I do. Cafe de Corel have, I think this is actually owned by Cafe de Corel, which is actually our, one of our big um, fast food chains. I, I'm guessing it's probably owned by one of our tycoons. Mm, actually, this is really good. I know, there's, there's a drawer. So basically you just help yourself so that the cutleries aren't exposed, you know, when people are like spinning in it, right? Because if it's on the table, it's just perpetually, um, you know, exposed to stuff. Um, these are not wood. Um, these are probably like synthetic. Mm. No, oh, this is so yum. It's very fluffy too. We don't use our hands to eat, no. Um, I mean for things like toast, yeah. Ah. Mm. Ow. It just scraped the top of my mouth. Ah! The toast is so thick. Mm. Oh, this is my definition of a good breakfast. Like, this is actually my 10th year in Hong Kong. As much as I always biatch about, you know, Hong Kong stuff, I think Hong Kong style breakfast is something that just runs through my veins. Malamine. Mm. Um, the, I remember there's times, you know, because you can move these tables, right? So sometimes like before the, the COVID, depending on how many people they sit, so they put some of these tables together. I remember there was one time, they had like six or eight, and this guy was walking past, and I didn't realize that he was walking past, and I just opened my drawer, and I hit him like, yeah, in the pee-pee. That wasn't fun. Mm. Can you hear the toast crunch? Mm, this is a very crunchy toast. And my mic is not pointing the right way. Because why? Because I'm wearing a t-shirt. What? Cafe de Corral is a Vita soy company? Mm, I don't think in Singapore they eat not everybody eats with their hands. Mm. Hey, Mr. Pibbs. Mm. Yep. Hong Kong breakfast is by far the best. The best. I agree. In Detroit, the drawer would be filled with ammunition. Why? Why? I don't get it. Why is it filled with ammunition? Okay, I think I gotta get rid of some of the ice in here. It's really cold. Just hold on. Some of the ice in here. I asked for less ice already, but they usually put in a lot. In Hong Kong, some places, not here, but some places, when you ask for less ice, they actually give you less drink. I remember there's a place um, when I asked for less ice, my grande turns into a tall. Okay. okay, this is not less ice. This is like a whole cup of ice in there. Crazy. And I don't really like it when my milk tea is too watered down. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that is, oh, definitely. It's a very British breakfast, isn't it? Because Hong Kong used to be a British colony. Um,
Mr. Pibbs extra? I thought you were a cat. So you want Melicat to marry a cat? Detroit's rough. Isn't that the place that had like a lot of factories? Car factories? I live Cha Cha Tang every day. Hey, Louis. Oh my god! Louis Nang. Oh my god! I think I saw my high school boyfriend in here. Is Louis Nang my high school boyfriend? By the way, you were my best looking boyfriend out of all of the guys I've ever dated. Um, if that's you, hey, thanks for coming in. Um, I think he's a happy dad of two right now. Um, anyway, okay, I've um, never seen skyscrapers empty with no windows in Detroit. You've never seen skyscrapers emptied with no windows. Okay, I, I, couldn't sen I couldn't process that sentence. What does that mean? Double negatives. Okay, I can't process that, that double negative at this time of the day. Um, the best is to ask for no ice. Yeah, next time I should. I can't drink that much of the drink, but I just hate it when there's just so much ice. Mm. Uh, what's Kipper Snacks? I don't know what's Kipper Snacks. Oh, so Mr. Wait, so Mr. Pip is actually the cat or an animal, right? Um, in cat cafe, Bernice, I don't really like going to cat cat uh, cat cafes um, because I don't know. The more I learn about it, the more I find that they don't treat the cats very well. I mean, I think my house is already like a cat cafe, so and I don't have in interest with um, pedigree cats. So that's why. Go ahead, this is the soup macaroni. So this soup is so rich, it basically makes anything taste like heaven. No one knows in the buildings. The glass is gone, so like all shattered. Okay. This stuff goes down very easily. And you can still see smoke coming out of it, so it's still really hot. I think I watched a movie about Detroit. Um, it wasn't the, like a blind guy that lives there and his house got broken into. And got... Mm. Saltiest dry fish. Nope. So all this, 38 bucks. So about $5 Hong Kong dollars. Or $5 US dollars. Hey, Def Roshi man, yo. Oh, long time no save. The windows are totally removed, just like in a lot of the abandoned buildings that I've been to. It's just like that. Hmm. Yeah, it used to be like a car factory city, right? Detroit. Mr. Pib Extra? Oh, is a Dr. Peppery, pepper type of soda. You guys call it soda. We call it pop. Mmm, the cats are good. Mm -hmm. They're doing very good. I think I can actually get them more stimulation, meaning more cat toys, different ones. That's the thing, in Singapore, there's not that many abandoned buildings. Like, that's what I notice about Singapore. Is there's not many old things. Mm. On uh, Twitch, how come I don't have a sub button? Um, how come I don't have a sub button? I don't know. I thought I did. No? Um, assistant, if you're here, do you know why my Twitch doesn't have a sub button? Movie Fargo, that rings a bell, that name. A fellow left-handed person? I'm not left-handed. 
No, this is mirror imaged. I'm right-handed. I think growing it up, growing up in an Asian family, it's very hard to be left-handed. Grandma will usually beat the living shit out of you if you if you try to use left hand. Mm. Thanks, assistant. Assistant, did you want some? Uh, did you want some soup macaroni? So we have. There's a slice of pork here at the back. People that also stream on Twitch, yeah. Um, but I don't have nearly as fo many followers on Twitch. Mm. Damn. Um, this is actually soup macaroni. It's very yummy. It's one of actually the best things in life. Mm -hmm. And actually, you know what? I, I'm starting to appreciate how we have like the soup macaroni because if you think about it, <clears throat> in Western countries, usually when you eat um, pasta is usually like super super heavy like either there's alfredo sauce um, there's like even even like pasta sauce is not uh, it's, it's quite rich sometimes there's cheese on it there's all sorts, sorts of stuff but here soup macaroni like the soup is not oily and they only have a little bit of ham most of it is the pasta which is which have actually taken up a lot of the liquid mm. so it's actually like a lot healthier in comparison, yes. Um, yeah, there's the MSG. But MSG is not necessarily bad for you. Mm. I, for me, I can't do Alfredo sauce. It makes me so sick. Alfredo sauce is one of those things. If you give me like like fettuccine with like Alfredo sauce or whatever, right? I could probably eat three or four bites. That's it. And then I'll feel really sick. I'll feel really sick because it's so rich. Um, I don't know what's in, I don't know what's in, um, why is, wait, why is something tickling my stomach? Okay, it's my mic cord. I was like, why is, it, why is something? Yeah. Okay, uh, MSG Fuyo. <laughs> That's the Uncle Roger thing, right? Fuyo. Uh, need my daily dose of MSG if my brain doesn't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I like ranch? Mm. I don't mind ranch. But for some reason, when I smell other people eating ranch or Caesar salad, it smells like vomit. I'm the only person on Twitch with no subscribe button. How is that even possible? How is that even possible that I don't have a subscribe button? I thought I did, because there are people who subscribe to my Twitch. Hey Aries, hey, how's your Bujian day? Really? Um, wow, I'm starting to, it's, it's so interesting. I'm actually like, you know, seeing all this on my, um, on my stream. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Um, Mr. Yoshida's teriyaki sauce? Why does Mr. Yoshida sound like some, like some sort of whitewashed Japanese brand? Why is it? It doesn't sound very authentic. It should be Yoshida sound, not Mr. Yoshida. It's Yoshida sound. I have I been affiliated on Twitch? I think so, but I I could be wrong. Um, oh, Roti uh, Prata, that's, they have that in Malaysia. So as a snack, uh, sometimes my friends would order like a thing of Roti 
and then there's these like a plate of a few sauces like curries that you can dip it into it tastes like heaven it's a japanese brand doesn't sound very authentic to me because it should be yoshida song that was a giveaway or maybe mr yoshida is second generation japanese and beyond because otherwise it would have been yoshida song <laughs> but, um, Japanese door married to a USA girl. You know, that's actually a really interesting thing. Oh. I think it's getting actually more common in recent years that you see um, um, interracial couples where the guy. Wait, let me try to get it right. Yeah, where the guy is Asian and then the girl is white. You actually don't see that. Like, I mean, I, that wasn't a common combination when I was a kid. Mm. Nor do you ever see Asian non-villain characters in a Hollywood movie. It's actually really interesting. Okay, I'm starting to get really full right now and I'm only like halfway through my food. I still got one in a little bit of toast. I still got some scrambled eggs. I still got like more than half of my macaroni. I don't, I don't know, it's really weird. Like, I mean, um, if you guys are older than 18, 16, if you guys are older than 16, I think you know what I'm talking about, right? Like when you were a kid um, or younger, you remember that yeah, the Asians are usually the villains. Or maybe well, the Asian males are uh, almost always the villains. And then maybe the cute Asian chick is like, maybe? They, those, but they're never the main character. Um, I remember the first time I watched uh, G.I. Joe, there was the Korean guy. Um, was it, what's his name? <laughs> Um, assistant, what's his name? I kept calling him Snakehead, um, but his name is not Snakehead. What's the guy's name? The guy that's wearing all white? Um, oh, I forgot his name. But he's the guy, but that guy that I call Snakehead um, is the guy that's in Squid Games. He's the older brother that went bad. I should order the kid size menu. I don't think there's a kid size menu, that's the thing. Mm. You do see black people in kung fu films in New York and City, it's 70 and 80. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's just so not common, like, but yeah, so it's starting to change, so which is kind of cool. Storm Shadow. Is it Storm Shadow? There was only one Asian guy in, uh, in G.I. Joe, but I thought he was like super hot. The first time I saw him, I was like, oh my god. I was like, wow. Um, and oh yeah, when I went to Korea, I noticed that, like, I find myself really short. Korean people are like, really tall in general yeah so yeah when i went there even like older men like grandpa was taller than me for the most part and i was like wow jackie chan in hollywood that's very uncommon actually um yeah that's true um there's what's michelle yao i like her a lot I was crashing on the villain. <laughs> um, wasn't there a guy called Jeffrey Gao? He actually made it really big and then he suddenly died. Like, poor guy. Um, I think it was like a Taiwanese model and actor. Again, full package, super handsome, super tall, very talented. 
and I think he died suddenly in like a game show. Um, it's kind of like those ninja ninja warrior ish shows, and he died of sudden cardiac arrest. Rush hour one and rush hour two. Yep. Oh, that was so funny. He's like, do not mess with the black man's radio. And I was like, oh. Hmm. So as a kid, because we actually did have a lot of black people in, in our neighborhood. And uh, when I first saw like Rush Hour, when, uh, when Carter said that, and I was like, okay, taking notes. Point taken. Do not mess with the black man's radio. It's so funny. Ip Man. But that's the more recent years, isn't it? Ip Man is, yeah. Harold, Harold and Kumar. But then Harold is really, he is Asian, but he's almost like an ABC, like an American born Chinese version of Asians. He's not really like the, like the, um, he, like I, I don't think when you look at Harold, you'll think of immigrants, right? Not really. You'll think of like American born Chinese. Kung Fu Panda. Um, Kung Fu Panda. Uh, I guess so. Oh, I didn't realize that Jackie Chan was actually um, the monkey in Kung Fu Panda. Um, do I have any single family members? Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 My brother's. My brother's not married. Yeah. Wait, did I just put my tissue here? Stupid me. Did Mui Mui lose any weight? Um, kind of. Kind of. But lately she's been having some airways um, irritation. I think it's because when the weather changes from winter to spring to summer, she always has this airway um, problem. So I'm going to take her actually to the vet later on uh, to get it checked up. Uncle Kyle, I know you were going to say that. Not true. Um, Ding Ding has a crush on Spartacat, and it seems like he's reciprocating. Um, Strawberry and Buddy is a pair with some sort of love triangle going on with uh, with uh, Sir Carlos. Goko and Mui Mui, they're brothers and sisters, but they're definitely more than brothers and sisters. Um, so really, it's just um, Blue Cat, Yellow cat. Why is there one cat missing? Which one did I not name yet? Blue cat, yellow cat. Wait. Sparta cat, ding ding. Go, go, moi, moi. The love triangle. Oh no, I named everybody. Star Trek. You know, I have never watched Star Trek. Um, Bruce Lee. You know what? Um, Bruce Lee does not remind me of an immigrant. Um, he's also like American born Chinese or something like that. Uh, like, love my perspective. Mm. This is actually really young. I should have scooped out the ice like much earlier. Um, let's see, how tall is Bernice? Bernice is, Bernice, I think you're taller than me now, right? Or oh, very close. Um, I know kids right now are just so tall. It's insane. Most of my cats are dating. They don't have little tiny cats marriage certificates. Um, they should, they should. We we have a brother who she's close. Yeah, Coco, Coco is the brother. But because cats can be incest, so yeah, they're more than brothers and sisters. 100% have no subscribe button on Twitch, but I do have subscribers, do I not? Okay, I'm gonna get that fixed. I'm so sorry about that. Um, Bruce Lee's Bruce Lee's a Chinese American. Yeah, like he was born. I think. He, he was born in San Francisco, wasn't he? Uh, Rick, um, I'm good. I'm on the menu. Oh, 
Yeah, you missed it. You're gonna have to watch replay. Soup macaroni, truffle fried uh, scrambled egg, and garlic toast that I haven't really touched a lot. Hey, Ringo. You're about the height of grandma? Okay, then you're just a little bit shorter than me right now. Yeah. Kids are gonna get so tall nowadays. It's insane. It's insane. Ugh. Oh, by the way, yesterday, do you remember that I got some meat tubes for the cat on the live stream? And this is a brand um, that they, it's, it's made in Taiwan. No, it's a Taiwanese brand, but it's actually made in um, Thailand. And Buddy loved it. Like he loved it so much. I think I might get more of this um, as a treat. Let's see what's in here. What's the ingredients? Chicken liver, chicken meat, chicken carcass, crab powder, flavoring agent, chicken oil, prebiotics, modified starch, gelling agent, vitamins, minerals, DH methylamine, methylamine, and taurine. Oh, sorry. That was a mic accident. My bad. Yeah, no, good to see you, Rick. Um, she come in more often. Um, you know what? If Ip Man and Bruce Lee fight together, I wonder who's going to win. Kung Fu films in Hong Kong. Yeah, but that's in Hong Kong. It's not really on the international stage. Oh, I do not have to worry. I think, um, I think generally the kids right now are pretty tall. So, yeah. And I'm, I'm used to other um, cats surveillance, surveillancing from above anyway. So, meh. This is called a hundred percent, a cafe one hundred percent. So our breakfast menu in Hong Kong is actually until 11.30. So sometimes, um, I remember before, like um, I would actually like run to one of these restaurants and then I'll be like, it's like, wait for me, it's like 11.28. Um, UFC is going to Singapore? Actually, that's something that I always wanted to watch in real life, but I'm afraid to. Chasing the Dragon, Hong Kong film. Zhou Yunlong. Why does that sound so familiar? That sounds really familiar. Zhou Yunlong is actually a very old term um, um, for uh, to describe. Was it people doing drugs? Like when people are smoking uh, heroin? There's like a s white smoke that comes out as they're smoking their drugs. Oh, you just got Twitch, nice, Sarah. Um, yeah, so I think it just means they're smoking that white smoke. <clears throat> the injuries are hard, the, the head injuries are hard to watch, but I think what's even more hard to watch is um, blood splatters. Yeah, I'm scared of blood, so I can't do it. Ugh. Okay, my nose is running. I should have had a jacket. Okay, if you guys don't see the subscribe button, I'll, I'll actually get that fixed immediately. Ah, oh, how can I not have a subscribe button? That's weird. Um, where am I going after this? I am actually taking uh, Wing Wing to the vet. Yeah, just for some uh, checkup, just to see if her airway can use some supplement because she's been kind of, <coughs> she's like coughing lately. Like, yeah, it's not really serious, but I think um, it doesn't hurt to get it looked at just in case, you know? Okay, just hold on. Wow, I'm carrying so many things. 
warm there today. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna reach like probably low 30s today. Looking, looking at it, crazy, huh? Okay. I feel really bad for not being able to finish my food on a regular basis. Mm. Whenever I like, whenever I eat, there's always something left. It's either I can't eat a lot in one sitting, or that they have really ginormous portions. Because I mean, frankly, as a breakfast toast, this is pretty thick. Yeah, I can't do it. You're making tacos. Oh, oh, I miss tacos. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna call that quits. I'm gonna put my face mask back on. Or actually, no, not yet. And that's what a man is for? Using him as a garburator? Um, no, that, that would be a very fat man. Given how much leftover I actually have. Um, no, that would be very inhumane to be stuffing another human being with so much food remnants, um, I, I don't think I don't think that would be um, an ethical thing to do. I, I might get sued. I, I don't think that's a, that's a good idea. Because I do actually have a lot of like leftovers, even like when I'm at home. Um, I notice that I'm, I'm always pecking and nibbling, but yeah, I'm not really like eating big meals or anything yeah so okay okay if this is 100% full I think I'm to here right now let me ask her for tissue nose is running like crazy with god god with god god with god god with god god you mean, wait, with your gogol, right? Wait, you're trying to use your free sub from Prime. Okay, wait, wait until I get... Actually, no, I don't want to Pack the food and bring it home. Actually, this wouldn't taste very good when you reheat it, especially this. This would taste like crap. Okay, my nose is running. Please give me the tissues. Give me the tissue. Give me the tissue. You guys are. Actually, I always find that the garlic toast for breakfast is a little bit too much. Um, so I can never finish like all of it. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up right now see one of the reasons why i don't mind the face mask is because my allergies aren't that bad when i have a face mask on i mean duh for obvious reasons use my shirt collar Ooh, kyle gross gross okay i'm gonna wrap up now i'm gonna take my move to the vet so i'm gonna say goodbye to everyone here um Hope you guys had a uh, good breakfast. So that's my Hong Kong breakfast for you. That tells you how lazy I am to cook in the morning. Anyway, thanks for coming in. Uh, and say hi to your cats. If you guys have a cat at home, please help me give them the chin rubs. Right? Laters.